Does the truth really matter? I guess most of us, when we think about that, our initial response is, well, of course the truth matters. The truth is very valuable. And I would agree. The truth does matter. Or does it? Let's say you're thinking that your spouse or a friend or a partner of some sort doesn't value your opinion. They don't care about what you have to say. That's your belief. Now, that belief could be true, but it could also be false. What we want to look at is what we choose to believe. So let's say we choose to believe that that assumption, that belief is true. What is our emotional response to it? And what is our behavioral response to it? So let's say I felt like my spouse didn't value my opinion or my input. I would feel frustrated. I would feel disrespected. I would start either isolating or being angry. Now here's the interesting thing. I don't know for sure if that's true. I believe it's true, but it could be either true or false. And if I believe that it's true, I'm going to feel those things, whether it's true or not. For example, let's say I believe that this is true, but it's false. I'm still going to feel frustrated, belittled, all those kinds of things. And I still might isolate or argue or get more frustrated. My response to it is the same, whether it's actually true or not. My belief of whether it's true matters more. Let's say now that I choose to believe that my spouse does value my opinion does respect what I have to say and cares. I'm going to feel positive. I'm going to feel valued. I'm going to feel like I can get through to her even when maybe there's frustrating moments as we're working through an issue. Now I could be right. She does value my opinion or I could also be wrong. She doesn't actually value my opinion. I don't know what the truth is, but let's say that the truth is she does value my opinion. I'm going to do those things. I'm going to act more positively. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But let's also say that I was wrong. She doesn't value my opinion. I'm still going to do those things, those positive things, because I've chosen to believe that she values my opinion. And as I act, on those positive things, giving her the benefit of the doubt, expressing my opinions. I'm not isolating. I'm just being there and being present. I'm staying with it. Her response now to me will be different. So that's why I pose the idea. Does the truth matter? And in situations like this, I would say a resounding no. What matters more is what do I choose to believe? The great thing about this is that you have control over that. You can decide what you believe. That may have to be a conscious process, but you will see that by just shifting, choosing to believe what you want to believe, that has a more positive end result whether that be to your own self-confidence or to your relational interactions, you will create a more positive outcome. If you choose to hold on to your old belief, there are consequences to that as well. Your current behaviors will continue to exacerbate whatever those might be. So I challenge you, does the truth matter in your current argument? or your current relational situation and figure out what is your belief. Challenge it. Figure out what belief will create the better outcome for you. If you want to feel more positive, you've got to believe things that make you feel more positive. I 
hope that helps.